Hello, I'm Roger Bisbee from the Skill Builder Channel, and we've got a question from Tom King. Tom's got a house that's cracking up, so let's have a look at it. Ah, okay. Now, the crack he's worried about is all this bit on the side here. He's not worried about that. It's a bit of not great pointing, but doesn't quite match in. The real problem is this crack here that you can see, a bit of mortar missing there. This is a sand and lime construction, and it looks like somebody's pointed it up with some sand and cement, probably something quite strong, too strong probably, in my opinion. So what I would do, Tom, your house isn't falling down. That's the first thing we've got to say. You see the structural element here? Well, that goes across the top. That's the arch. Now that's taking all the load and that comes down on the side here, side of these windows. You can see that everything there that's got a load on it is perfectly intact. And the reason for that is when you put weight onto brickwork, it does tend to stabilise it. Once you take the roof off a building, you find you can push the walls over a lot more easily. But when it's got a load on it, it's going to hold it steady. This little bit here and this little bit here haven't got a load on them. All they've got is the weight of those two bits of concrete or stone sill on them. That's really not great. That's not enough weight to stabilise them. So what's happening is every time somebody goes out of that front door i would say there's a bit of vibration on that frame there that frame may not even be that well tied in so what i would do tom is stand outside there get somebody to slam the door and see what's happening see if you can see any movement in there because i bet your life that bit at the bottom that's tied into that brickwork it's got a couple of screws going through into the brickwork every time that door is closed that is taking the vibration and it's loosening the mortar there it's only sand and lime so it's never going to hold up to that kind of treatment what I would do is I'd rake out this bit of pointing here because I think it doesn't look great does it you might as well try and match it in that's the nice pointing there and if you can match it in with that it's a bit of a colour change for some strange reason get yourself some mortar that's got lime in it you can either Either go and get yourself a hydraulic lime mortar or you can probably get away with using a six sand one cement or one hydrated lime mix that in there this is really a job for a brickie because you want this to look nice when it's done you can repoint that whole side but before it's repointed when the mortar's been struck out of there the thing to do here is get yourself some helical ties they're called crack stitching kits you can buy them, you can buy them from Screwfix and Selco and all kinds of other places. But look on the internet because I think you'll probably get a better price than that Screwfix price. They're nearly 200 quid for the kit in Screwfix. And I reckon you could be getting them for somewhere around 100 pounds. Get yourself some helical tyres, bit of resin, mix up the resin, put the resin in, poke the helical tyres into it. You want to stitch across here into the sound brickwork to tie that brickwork in a bit and maybe even put a few wall ties going through between the outer skin and the inner skin. You can see here that what they've done is they've cut the bricks here because they've had to sort of, you know, make it fit for the door where you've got a, a header there. This isn't a cavity wall, unless it's a cavity wall that they faked it by putting snapped headers in. But let's assume it's not a cavity wall. Let's assume it's a solid nine inch wall. Here you can see the whole bricks. But when you come down here, you can see that they've got queen closures in here, which is a, a brick which is cut all the way down. But I would say that maybe they didn't do that. Maybe what they did is a snapped header they cut those queen closures in half they just poked them in there so they're not very well tied in to the inner course that's my suspicion it'd be worth taking one of those out when you rake out the mortar just to look and see how far they go through because a few wall tires in there is going to firm it up but also as i say get the helical tires here and stitch that across one every third course if you like going all the way across so it's nicely tied in and then take any movement out of that door frame that you can door frame held at the top here quite nicely that's not going to be a problem but when we get down here at the bottom imagine the vibration on that door when it's slammed i reckon that's just shaken that brickwork out over the years so your house isn't falling down tom that's not a problem you can uh, rest easy in your bed as i say good job for a brickie if you can get a brickie in there look it's sort of 300 quidish probably if you're lucky if you're not and maybe 400 quid but not a lot if you get a good guy if you get maybe a retired brickie who just wants to do the odd job he doesn't want to get up the trail all day, but he's quite happy to come around and do little jobs like that. And if you can't find anybody, then just go to your local merchants and have a chat with um, the builders merchants. Say, do you know any brickage? Do you know any old trails? Put an ad up.
Maybe, I don't know. Word of mouth. Go to the pub. Drink responsibly. You've got something you want a bit of advice on? We've got a few people who know a few things, so if I can't answer it, I'll, I'll throw it open. But I think that one was fairly easy, wasn't it? We're getting a few cracks in now. They seem to be coming in like buses. Anyway, I'm Roger Bisbee. If you want to know how to send questions in, just go to this webpage. It's all on there. Drop your pictures on. You can drop your video on. Ask your question. And that way, we keep it all nice and neat. Hopefully, we get round to answering your question. But we will favour the ones that have got nice pictures and nice video. So there's an incentive for you.